Hello, humans and animals alike. This is Stylus, and welcome back to Monster Sanctuary. We've explored some of the blue caves, so why don't we explore the rest? We still got some champion monsters to look forward to. All right, first off, there's a sort of training course for these double jump boots that we just got. So, we're rewarded with a hazelnut and some bronze. Okay, let's uh, go up here. And then, uh... Yeah, we're gonna go this way first. And we'll refight these guys. Uh, okay. Yeah, it seems good to me. The way, uh monster respawning works is that every three fights uh, a monster in a particular room will be uh, a, a monster encounter will uh, reset every uh, three other encounters Uh, yeah, I guess I'll do this, then do this, and then ignite. Oh, that's a lot of damage coming from you. Okay, let's do armor break. Punch combo. And ignite. Ah, not quite. Okay. If you're uh, just when you're just starting out uh, playing this game, you might forget that you can uh, press the uh, left and right buttons, uh, like the bumpers or L1, R1, or whatever, to change around the order of your monsters. You don't have to go specifically in the order that you picked your monsters. All right, a sustain ring plus two and the key. Who has a sustain ring right now? You do, but uh, you seem to be holding well uh, without, so... Uh... Uh, anything to increase defense while we're here? Um, let's see, defense plus 24. Okay, well. Oh, this could work. Alright, we'll have to come back here from the other side, so. I'll use an arrow for these instances. Even if it's pointing up. I really like how the uh, caves look with the uh, blue and purple mushrooms there. Oh, four copper and three cotton. Oh, you know what? That reminds me. I should probably upgrade some equipment. That would probably be a good idea right now.
Um, let's see. Well, I don't have any unique equipment to uh, upgrade. But I guess I could do a little bit of upgrading normal equipment. I'll upgrade the impact ring. The coat. And, uh... Let's do a wand. Alright, seems, uh, fine enough for me. Just wanted to take a really quick detour. And you might want to as well. Oh, uh, Plague Doctor? Is that you? Huh? Who are you, then? Might be dangerous to continue in this direction. Especially for such a young one. <laughs> That was a strange one. I think I've seen his mask before. But my memory gets a little foggy when I try to remember something from another century. Might be worth investigating. Perhaps. But, uh, from the way you were talking, uh... Oh, computer, now what? Okay. From the way you were talking, uh, it seemed like you were me meeting with someone else, uh... Oh, hey, there's Will! Th that's a champion monster! I... I don't think I'm ready for this. I have an idea. I'll stay at a distance to study its behavior. Okay, and, uh, you're gonna let me do the fighting? Alright, then. Let's see what we got, then. For this champion monster, fire is where it's at. Uh, let's see. Uh, let's see here. Alright, we do have cleanse. So, I could bring in Moses. Uh, you know what? Yeah, we'll bring in Moses. Seems like a good idea. Okay, uh, hang on a second. Okay, I'm kind of debating whether or not I should, uh, do, uh, Empower. I, like, hardly ever use this aura. But, uh, I, I guess I could give it a try. We'll, uh, feed our monsters, too. I'll give you the hazelnut. We'll do, uh, another walnut for more defense and more shielding ability. And more crit damage, why not? Oh yeah, I also, uh, went to the, uh, Sustain Ring level 2, uh, just because I want to make good use of, uh, Punch Combo. Although now that I think about it, I could just use Channel instead. Eh, whatever. Let's fill you up with Walnuts, so... I can see those uh, icons are gone. Alright then, let's fight against the Minitar. So, Minitars, uh, this one's going to start off with a full offense, which grants it might, sorcery, and glory at the same time. And it'll attack using Stone Ring and Slash. Uh, Stone Rain, sorry. Uh, I want to inflict burn as soon as possible, so... I guess the least we could do is weaken it with, uh... Weakness. 
then we'll apply burn, and then fire claws. Wow, look at that damage! <laughs> Ow. Uh... Yeah, I guess we could just restore that. I guess it also has heavy punch. Ouch. Uh, I only got rid of sorcery, which it doesn't need. Yeah, we'll just keep doing this for a bit. Owie. Patch that up. Ignite. And there we go! Uh, not quite five stars. I guess I could have planned things a little bit better there. But I did get a guitar plus one, and a crit ring plus one, so that's pretty good. And looks like we got some monsters that reached level 10, so now they're able to learn some uh, new skills. And not just with skill points, I mean they have a another tier of skills in their skill trees that they can learn. And for defeating three champion monsters, we have ascended to Keeper Novice rank. So, new items will be available to us as we increase our rank, and new facilities in the Keeper's Tower will also be unlocked, in this case, the Dual Circle. Wow, you did it! You're braver than me. I thought I was prepared for it, but once I saw this champion, I felt paralyzed. By the way, did you also meet this suspicious person earlier? You two are still here. Did you find any champion monsters? Yes, Dylas just defeated one by himself. What? You must have confused it with a regular monster. The champion must still be around here somewhere. Ah, oh, man. What a big-headed guy. Anyway, I'll go back to the keep and try to find something out about this suspicious person we met. Meet me at the library in the keeper's stronghold. Well done, Dylas. This was your first real challenge as a monster keeper. Who knows what else you're capable of? Thanks for the encouragement, and I feel like I earned it. Alright. Uh, why did I want to not want to go this way? Ooh, three fun guy. Let's uh mark that on our map. And actually, before I go this way, uh, I I want to go back really quick. Uh, yeah, I want to go this way first. Uh, sure. Oh, shoot, I thought you had blessing. Whoops. Oh, well. Oh, wow! That crit damage.
All right, let's do this now. I could take the risk, but I, I, I know it's not going to happen. All right, let's uh, learn some new skills then. Wait, uh, this uses... Yes, it uses magic. So I want to do defense overload first. Then I'll think about if I want to do... Uh, let's see. Hmm, we got buffing heal too. There's some stuff to think about. Uh, buffing shield. Yes. That way I can focus more on buffing than just, like, plain old shielding. And for you, let's do life overload. That'll make it so we use our max health as a way to increase our attack and magic. Vin? Um, let's see. Multi-sidekick might be something to invest in later. Hundred fifty percent of attack value. That's one thirty-five, I believe. Well, something worth uh, taking note of. I'm feeling Cascade, honestly. That'll make it so, like, Feather's Storm does a lot of damage. Alright, uh, Boo. Hexing support. I, I like this one, because I can spend a turn without attacking, and I can still, like, contribute uh, to the enemies by applying debuffs. Okay, I've got to face the Tengus up here now. Uh... Yeah. Like this. It's a small shield, but I guess it'll do. Okay. Yeah, this is this is the way to go here. Uh Sure, I'll do arcane bolts. That'll boost the execution score even more because uh that'll just allow our spectral wolf to do more damage. And that still wasn't 5 stars. Okay, let's open this chest to get a cape plus 2. Yeah, we're going to give that to Boris. Oh, and the Qatar plus one. All right, we have a mana ring plus one and a crit ring plus one. All right. Oh, yeah, remember this place? As a matter of fact, since I'm here, why don't we go up over here? And remember that monster there? Let's see, we can lay a rock and we can get up here easy peasy. And turns out there are three of those guys. I suppose it doesn't matter if I, like, take a look at everyone here. Anyway, let's get right to it. Manticorbs, they have nasty debuffing uh, moves, and they're pretty strong ones, too. They're weak to physical attacks, which is worth noting. 
instead of being weak to a specific element, now they're weak to, like, physical attacks, and they have a resistance to magic attacks. Alright, yeah. Let's do, uh... I'll do Might first. Do a punch combo. Hmm, and if we're lucky... Oh, not quite. Let's, uh, restore that, why don't we? Do Feather Storm on you. And, uh, maybe? Oh! <laughs> Nuts. Okay, alright. Oh, uh, Shock is actually something new. This makes it so, uh, a monster who gets hit by an attack will get an additional hit on them. Four stars, and we got a Manticore bag, all right. That should definitely be something worth considering. All right, we get a harp there. That's certainly something Blep could use, or Boo. Sorry, I, I named another, uh, another blob on a previous playthrough, Blep. <laughs> okay, Boris, you got some, uh, Oh, yeah, I'm feeling critical defense. This will give you some more survivability using your crit damage stat. Alright, let's delete that and put in, uh, Manticorp. If you don't get, uh... A Manticore bag right away. They have a high chance of dropping monster bells, which allow you to respawn monsters as soon as you, uh, like, defeat them. Alright, I just wanted to make that quick detour, and then I'm gonna go to places that we haven't been to yet. Alright, we got three Frosties. I'll be sure to mark that on the map. Let's see. All right, we'll do that. We'll start with Might. Acid Rain for Armor Break. And then if we're lucky... All right, you got Glory, so uh, yeah, that, that was a pretty good chance to get at least one crit. How are you looking? Okay. We could apply another debuff. Why not? Five stars. And a mana ring plus two. All right, uh... Who's got a mana ring right now? Oh, nobody does. All right, then. Uh... 
Yeah, I want to go up first. Alright, some more Grummies and Tangus. We know the team we want to use. Uh... Yeah, let's do Sorcery first. Oh yeah, uh, see there? Uh, we got a double Sorcery here. That's because Pandora's box already gave our Magma Pillar a Sorcery, and it allows us to, uh stack one one more of the same type of buff that it gets through Pandora's box. So that's really nice. Let's do Ignite on you and then Ice Hail. Ah, nuts. You're going to restore the burn away. Okay, I definitely want to heal that. Alright, if you could get a crit... Ow! Oh. Four stars. Did get a Tengu egg, though. Okay, we get a pair for mana, and two level badges. Now, uh, level badges let you increase a monster's level by one, but it can only be used on monsters that are at least two levels below your highest level monster. So, I can't use a level badge on anybody right now, because they're all level 10, which is the highest level that I have right now. But furthermore... Over here, we can discover a secret passage! So, there's the treasure chest that's been teasing us. A bracelet plus two. Um... Yeah, let's give that to, uh, Moses. He could make the most of that. All right, so now we're going to head back down. So, uh, how have you guys been enjoying this playthrough so far? I know I not may not be the most professional. I don't have the best equipment for, uh, you know, recording these videos, but I just really love this game, and I really wanted to share it with a lot of other people. Um, like, a main reason for that is something uh, that I said in my... Uh, other what is it my other video about like how this game compares to pokemon i i want people to like try out different monster taming games and uh this is kind of like a catalyst of my uh interest in them all right here we got a current So yeah, passion over, like, patience. Alright, we can break these walls to reveal this treasure chest containing a fang plus one. So it increases attack and magic as well as crit chance. Seems like a perfect, uh, thing for... Yeah, for, uh, Whisper here. Uh, do I want to equip the brooch on anybody? I guess I'll equip it on you. Okay, so, uh, you don't have to worry about air underwater. Uh, you could survive. Like, you could just survive down there.
Alright, two Frosties and a Monk. Let's bring in... Uh... Vent. Whisper. And... Moses. Let's start with Might. I'll do Spore to inflict weakness. And then finish with Air Sickle. Ah, oh, come on. Okay. I have, like, the task manager in the background, and I'm seeing that as I play this game, uh, it is taking up a bunch of CPU. I only have, like, four gigs of RAM when I'm playing this, so it's definitely not the best. Just one crit will do. All right, great. Not. All right, let's, uh, let's restore that. Okay. Copper and cotton. And we're getting close to those levels. Okay, if we go down this way... Hmm, it's a little dark there, but I'll come back there, like, really soon. I'm just hoping for one more monster encounter. Oh yeah, uh, this thing. Uh, we won't be able to do anything about this for a long time. We're gonna put in lift. As you can see, it looks like we can just lift that up there. Alright, we'll start with sustain. Do slime shot and spore. You're gonna heal yourself. Heal level three. Let's see. Yeah, I'm gonna do slime shot on you. Do ignite. Alright, I think I'm gonna focus on that monk there. Alright, just barely it seemed. Let's heal you up there. Rocky's doing more damage than you, even with you using the weakness. Alright, got another monk egg, some more gems. And, uh, some skill points we can use. Um, heal mastery, sure. Moses, uh... Well, I could try Weaken and, uh, like, make room for full utility instead. So that way I could focus more on a Leaf Slash or Punch combo. But it is, like, something I'll have to think about. Um... Uh, 
Um... I'm not sure if I want to do Weaken just yet. But, uh... I think I'd like to be on track on, uh, what I had just mentioned. It sounds interesting. I'll give it a go. Alright, let's do, uh, Power. For you. We have a second life overload if we want it, but I think I'll save it. Um, let's do Spectral Flame. Level 2. Sustain level 2. And I guess we're good. Alright, if we go down here, we unfortunately cannot do anything here. You can't use the flying ability underwater, so... We're going to have to find a way to be able to swim up there. We can do stuff with these, uh, switches, though. Oh, uh, I don't have a tackler, do I? No, I don't. Well then, if I want to make use of this, I gotta, um... Have a tackler. So far, Yowie seems to be the only one who can tackle. There's steel... Uh, steam Golem is also acceptable. So, uh... Yeah, I'll hatch you. Alright, uh, what should I name you? Tuscany? Okay. So yeah, we'll just hatch him for the exploring. Uh, code plus two. Let's see. Yeah, we could sacrifice a little bit of crit chance for that. Seems like we've discovered a new area here. But, uh... We can't do anything because we don't have anything, anyone to activate those lightning orbs. So, we're just going to have to go back. Okay, uh, I'll also hatch that uh, Manti Corp as well. Because its light ability can uh, light up the way. Koro Koro. I guess that shares the name of a certain magazine that Pokemon fans are well aware of, but uh, oh well. I was thinking Corb, but how can I, like, derive from that? And that's how I came up with that. Alright, so, uh... Let's see, how can we play with you here? Why don't I try, uh, crit chance stuff? I mean, crit damage stuff. Um, yeah, I want to try a Mana Buffer. Mana Buffer is a pretty rare ability. Only Manticorb and one other monster knows this. It allows you to shield according to how much mana you have consumed or lost. Wait, so does that mean uh, 
your shield will go up when chill comes into play? Huh. I never really thought about that. Probably. Alright, so, uh... Yeah, we have the light ability here. So now we can see where we're going. Diadem plus three? Who has a diadem right now? Nobody. Uh... I don't have anything that increases magic. I'll probably want to upgrade the wizard hat for you. I'll save it. Okay. Well, there's one last little area of the blue caves to explore. Oh! Hello. Who are you? Oh, your name's Bex, huh? Hello, fellow traveler. Oh, you're a monster keeper, aren't you? How many champion monsters have you bested so far? Three? Not bad. Me? Oh, I have some monsters of my own, all right, but I don't mess with champion monsters. I'm just a wanderer, exploring the different regions of the sanctuary. Sometimes I find some treasure. Ah, Wanderlust. Tell you what, you keep doing the good work. These crystal shards will come in handy when you're deep in some dungeon. These crystal shards are special items. You can use them to return to the teleporter stone in the Keeper's stronghold at once. Farewell then, I wish you all the best on your adventure. Hmm, I wonder what that monster he has there. It's like a... Melting cat of sorts. Well, anyway, we'll be meeting up with this guy uh, a lot in our adventures. Alright, I'm gonna have to uh, place icons for the orbs here. And to end off, looks like we got another champion monster over here. But, uh, this video has been going on for long enough, so I'm just going to have to cliffhang you here. Can we defeat the champion monster in the blue caves here? Find out next time on Monster Sanctuary! Anyway, enough, uh, ripping off some Let's Players. Next time on Monster Sanctuary, we'll deal with this guy and see what Will has found about those that strange masked person. So with all that said, thank you for watching. This is Dylas signing off. See you next time.